assalamu alaikum students today we are going to discuss the topic uh, fit a curve to the data what is a straight line uh, what is a straight line it is a first degree equation now what is a first degree equation the maximum power of the variable is 1 and the variable should be dependent variable or independent variable here we are discussing the independent variable variable x uh, which makes a straight line if an equation has uh, degree 1 yani uh, means first degree equation then we say uh, the line creates created by the equation will be straight line while uh, the curve is a second degree equation uh, means that uh, the maximum power of the variable is 2 it is also called the quadratic equation you know the formula of quadratic equation uh, i can write it for you uh, a x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 now this is the second degree equation now you can see that the highest power of the variable is 2 so it is a second degree equation okay the maximum power of the variable is 2 which makes a curve with single band like this this is a single band uh, the third degree equation is the one with three degree equation sorry three degree this is repetition of the word so we can say that a cubic equation this third degree cubic c u v i c cubic equation is the one with third degree equation that is the maximum power of the variable is 3 which makes the curve with two bands like this uh, now first band is like here and the second band is here this is two these are two bands uh, the line representing cubic equation a x power 3 plus b x power 2 plus c x power 1 plus d equal to 0 now you uh, it, you can understand i think i have explained the curve uh, which is what is the curve and uh, for which curve uh, which degree equation can be used for straight line we use first degree equation and for curve with two bands we use second degree equation uh, and uh, uh, for, sorry for one band we use uh, second degree equation which is also called parabola equation and for the curve with two bands we use third degree equation which i uh, write it like here now we will uh, move to our next slide uh, here i also explained uh, by by a figure what is the first degree equation uh, I, I already explained that first degree polynomial or first degree equation the highest power of the independent variable is one here yeah. straight line with no peaks and no valleys often written as this it can be written as this so this is the straight line now we can see the second degree polynomial which is also called second degree equation or parabola 
curved line with only one peak or one bend or one valley it is also called one valley this curve is like this now we are going to see um, third degree equation it is also called cubic equation or third degree parabola uh, where the highest power of the variable is 3 and there are uh, four constants in the equation uh, curve with the multiple peaks and valley so uh, i think we can see that uh, straight line has a uh, uh, first degree polynomial and second degree polynomial and third degree polynomial if you have any questions then you can ask in the uh, comments please uh, let's go to our next slide now here is the data uh, years and index of wholesale prices index of wholesale prices now we have uh, one two three four five six seven and eight years of data and we have to fit a second degree parabola uh, the equation with uh, highest power two and the line with the single band or one valley and now we will go to our next slide uh, here i write the equation y is equal to a plus bx plus cx power 2 it is also called second degree parabola this is parabola second degree equation is second degree polynomial or parabola quadratic equation these are the names of the second degree equation where a b and c are constants to be estimated by the method of least square okay uh, the method of least square is already discussed earlier <coughs> here a b and c are constant but unfortunately there are no uh, formulas to estimate a b and c so we have to uh, use the normal equation of this equation uh, which are so there are three parameters so we have to use three normal equations uh, like this uh, first we multiplied the, the main equation uh, with uh, summation sigma then for second uh, uh, normal equation we multiplied the main equation with the summation x and for uh, third normal equation we multiplied our main model which is uh, this one with the summation x and we can obtain this normal equation one two three now we go we'll go to the next slide here the key is to code the variable x like this that we have a summation x is equal to zero if you manage to do that your calculation will be easy because summation x is equal to 0 here and uh, summation x power 3 is equal to 0 here you can see that and the two summation will vanish in the previous slide uh, so uh, there are some necessary calculations and summation uh, which are going to use uh, in the solution of the normal equations um, here trend uh, is empty uh, 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 in the next slide maybe uh, I will show how to use the e estimated equation to estimate trend but here we calculated the total summation summation y is equal to uh, 1 to 1 9 and summation x y you can use calculator or excel uh, to <coughs> compute these summations uh, we will go to the next slide now here you can see that submitting the summations we have in the, in the normal equation normal equation 1 and 2 and 3 mm, uh, 1 2 3 now you can see that uh, normal in the normal equation where summation x equal to 0 constant b is eliminated 
now in second equation there are two constant with uh, summation x and summation x3 because summation x is equal to 0 and summation x3 is equal to 0 so uh, constant a is eliminated and constant c is eliminated and uh, uh, same in equation 3 now from equation 2 we can estimate the value of y so we divide the whole equation by 163 well, sorry 168 uh, so we have estimated the value of b now we are left with uh, a and c to estimate value of a and c we have two equation equation 1 and equation 2 now uh, you can estimate the values of a and b by solving these two equations by any method um, for example cross multiplication method uh, formula method substitution method there are a lot of methods Kramer, Kramer method is also available uh, now we will go to the next slide uh, here I have also explained the cross multiplication method this is the cross multiplication method this uh, is an example not related to our question but the method is related to our question because I have used cross multiplication method okay. yeah, I think you have already uh, you already know the cross multiplication method because you uh, uh, have learned the course of algebra and mathematics uh, by uh, Mr. Rosa he is your professor so I think uh, you know I you already know the method so I, I am not going to explain this method because it will take a lot of time so next to the next I have estimated the value of a this is a this is B this is C uh, so what are you we are going to do uh, we are going to estimate the trend uh, in the previous slide I left the column trend which is uh, shown here in this slide so in this equation where sorry this is uh, misprinting this is not C this is the X okay this is not C uh, this is misprinting so uh, uh, for first value of y there is a code x is equal to 7 so we put x is equal to 7 at here 7 here and x square se minus 7 square this is minus 7 and we are going to obtain the value this so we repeated this procedure by different values of x and we find different values of y it is noted that these values of y are estimated and these are average values of y okay so we plot our data of these estimated trend line I and mean, we got this shape this is a curved shape this is not a straight line if straight line will be like this sorry uh, I have done it manually it should be like this and uh, this okay uh, now you have learned how to fit a second degree parabola for a given data uh, which is uh, the our today's topic thank you